Excellent. Good morning. Welcome here to this month's orientation call. My name is Lucas Simmons. I'm your holistic nutrition practitioner. And the goal of this session, it's open to everybody every first of the month. And it's usually about 45, 50 minutes in length. And I'm going to take you on a tour through the network. So there's two purposes to this session. The first one, if you're not sure if the Good Food Network is for you, stick around because I'm going to show you all the moving parts you get when you join the network and what it is that we're specifically covering this month, because this is what you're going to want to know. Now, it also has a second purpose for those who sign up to join us in the Good Food Network, who need a little bit of a tour and knowing how to find stuff. That's what this is about as well. So we're going to start with the first um, what is the Good Food Network? So the Good Food Network is a smorgasbord, a buffet, if you will, of all kinds of different things on offer for you. Who's it for? Well, it's for anybody who is looking to food to be supportive to whatever health stuff they have on the go. Well, how do I know what kind of health stuff you're covering, Luca? We'll get to that in a second. But I serve a whole bunch of things. Now, think about this. When you go to the buffet table, if you're going, you know, we used to go, the nine of us, our family here in Calgary, we would go to, uh, you know, a Chinese buffet. And we loved it because each and every single human in our family would get exactly what they wanted under the table, under the big glass lamps to keep things warm. And everybody would have a different plate. You would go and you would put what you want on your plate. You'd go back. And those who wanted a second helping would go back. Those who wanted four helpings of Jello, children, would go back to get the Jello, as did the adults who have a child living inside of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> because life, guys. So that's what the Good Food Network is. It's kind of like a buffet. Now, when you go to the buffet, do you take everything that's under the glass? No. Can you take everything that's under the glass? Yeah, you totally can. Are you finding yourself with a little bit more time this month to do a little bit more digging for yourself? Then, honey, I have a lot on the buffet for you. If you find yourself, well, my life is fairly busy, but I really want to prioritize my health, then the Good Food Network is for you as well. What I usually recommend is give yourself one hour a week, and that way you'll be getting really good use out of the network. So the network, the cost is 55 a month plus GST, and the 55 a month covers access to all of the pieces I'm going to share with you. Yeah, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet game. Yeah, okay. So that's what the Good Food Network is for, or that's kind of how it's set up. Who is it for? It is for anybody who's currently studying nutrition at school and needs a little bit more uh, exploring what the practical side of things can look like. It is for anybody who has any kind of health concerns going on where they are looking for some easy solutions that would help them put some small pieces in place to build good practices, to support good health with the goal of reducing your symptoms, reducing any kind of chronic stuff that's going on, and to put in good practices. You know, the I was telling a client the other day, um, she was asking, so do you do, here's what I want. Is this something that you could cover? And like, spoiler alert, guys, the work is the same for everyone. The work is the same for everyone if we just nourish ourselves deeply. Oh, well, of course, if you are looking for support with scleroderma, you're going to need a few tweakings that are different. If you don't have a gallbladder, you might need yet a few different tweakings than your next person. But all of the things that I talk about in the Good Food Network are applicable to all of the humans. And when you put these pieces in place, the goal is it supports quality of life and quantity of life. Emphasis on quality, P.S. Like really getting rid of some of those wiggly, niggly, little bothersome bits that are not seemingly functioning very well. So, that's who this is for. This is also for anybody who is who has been a client of mine and really misses our accountability calls. I originally built the Good Food Network with former clients in mind, actually, because I thought this is a really nice place where somebody who's gone through a few rounds, one or two or three rounds with me of six appointments each or five or four or whatever, that now from here... You don't need the new ideas because you've already got 75 on your plate, but you're looking for a place to 
keep you on top of it or to remind you of some of the things we've talked about. Because the way that I organize the Good Food Network is according to the season. So what you do in the spring is very different than what you would do in the winter. So right now we are in that shift towards summer. So we have some new summer content available in the Good Food Network. And it is all real food. All dietary approaches are welcome in the Good Food Network. We give you options to keep things low histamine if you need to. We give you paleo options for anybody who's following a paleo approach. We give you gluten-free options. In fact, I don't even think there's that much gluten in the recipes and in everything that I share. This is about real food. This is about slow food. This is about traditional food. This is about keeping it real and demystifying and just simplifying. So if you're the person who goes to search a lot of things and tries to be on top of all the supplements, the teas, the herbs, the foods, the superfoods, all of these things, this is also for you. The Good Food Network focuses on food, food first, and then frequency of foods, the types of foods to focus on, depending on what you have on the go. So Okay. Have I sold you yet? I hope so. So that's what the Good Food Network is for. Now, this month in June, we are doing part two of the liver. Now, this is not a series. So if you were not around in May, you can still join us in June for all things liver. Here's why you may want to. I'm going to go through the 10 other than the really obvious things like jaundice, hepatitis, liver cancer, I'm going to go through the top 10 symptoms that I see in my practice with people who obviously need some liver support. So I want you to go through this list of 10, grab yourself a piece of paper, grab a pen, and I want you to put a check mark every time you hear a symptom where you go, oh yeah, no, I have that check mark. Okay. So, I mean, put a check mark if you have the obvious things, jaundice, hepatitis, liver cancer. Do you have skin stuff? Is your skin troubled? Oh, do you want examples? Okay, acne, persistent acne, cystic acne as well. Do you have hormonal acne? Another way you can think of it. Do you have eczema? Why, yes, yes, I do. I had a little bit come up because I was eating out a lot last weekend. Do you have oily skin? Do you have itchy skin? Do you have hives? Do you have rosacea? What else do we have for skin? Psoriasis. Yeah. Do you have skin stuff? Do you struggle with constipation? Mm -hmm. What's constipation? Oh yeah, no, I heard you in the back. Constipation is going to poop less than once a day. So if you're pooping once every two days, every three days, oh friend, your system is sluggish. We got to figure out why. Is it a fiber issue? 80% of the time, no. (laughs) Yeah. This whole like drink water and eat fiber. You're probably doing a lot of that already if you're here at Cook Food Network. And if you aren't, well, of course, we'll get you on there. But in my clientele, it's rarely a lack of fiber. Do you have sugar cravings, number three? Do you have gallbladder issues? Do you ever have gallbladder attacks? Do you have gallstones? Have you had your gallbladder taken out? You still get a check mark even if you no longer have a gallbladder. Friend, that is a liver issue. And there has been inflammation going on for a long time. Number five, is your immune system having a hard time? Do you know who orchestrates the entire immune response? Your liver? (laughs) I know. Are you the person who wakes up in the middle of the night? Doesn't matter what time. That is often a liver thing. And a few different things at different times of the evening. But your liver, it tells us your liver is working extra hard and needs a bit of love. Were you diagnosed with fatty liver disease? Either the fatty liver disease or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Do you have methylation issues? So methylation issues is not necessarily something everybody will know. I'll tell you how methylation issues show up for me and my clientele. Histamine issues often, often have a hard time methylating. If you are a slow detoxifier, to me, there is a methylation potential here that's having a hard time happening. And methylation is something that the liver does um, that it adds a methyl group to certain compounds. It adds a methyl group. Methyl group is NH3 for those who remember grade eight science. So it adds a methyl group to different enzymes and different compounds that your liver makes or that you need to 
change over to the animal version, you need to add a methyl group. And sometimes the body has a hard time adding methyl groups. If you have a hard time adding a methyl group to things, now you have methylation issues, which means how that can show up. Tongue tie is one of the ways it can show up. Um, a slow detoxifier if you have histamine issues often, another way. Histamine issues, point number nine. The liver is really keenly involved in clearing spent histamine. And if you have uh, if you have more histamine coming in, then you can move out. That's where we need to look at the liver. Do you have period troubles? Anything to do with the period? So here we're talking about sore breasts. We're talking about erratic periods. I mean, okay, if you're in perimenopause also, you're going to have erratic periods. But erratic, really, at any time of your life. Painful periods, clotting in your periods, uh, heavy flow, any kind of like, oh, yeah, no, I have to take two weeks off every month because of my period or two days off. I used to have to take two days off. If you have PMS, PMDD, like there's a lot of different components here. Anything to do with a period, if there's a hard time anywhere, there's a really big chance that your liver is struggling. I would add to this, so those are your top 10. I would add to this, if you have a chronic disease, if you have an autoimmune condition, if you know that you struggle with blood sugar balancing, a lot of that is done by the liver. So if you're struggling with blood sugar balancing, oh, your liver needs help. If you have any kind of hormonal imbalance, thyroid stuff as well, your liver is where some of those hormone conversions happen. So if you know that you struggle with any of these or reproductive issues, fertility issues, mood, which is very much a hormonal thing, sleep, which is very much a hormonal thing, all of these, anything to do with hormones really requires a little bit of liver loving. So now you see why we had to do two months of the liver. So you're catching us at a good time. We're halfway through and we've got a bunch of new stuff coming that is going to be shared in the network. But if this is where you join us, then you can also catch up on the bulk of the stuff that we had in the month of May. Let me take you through a tour, shall we? Okay, we did that. Do I need to do this? Oh, I have like a bunch of other symptoms. Do you want to know the other symptoms? Okay, I'll go through them quickly. Add a check mark, and then we'll count up your check marks at the end. Okay, skin, constipation. Diarrhea is another one. Uh, you can't handle fats. If you can't eat fats without having some pain in the middle, do you have chronic pain, any kind of edema or swelling, especially the swelling that will move around to different body parts? If you have inflammation, if you have elevated cholesterol levels, liver, uh, if you have headaches or migraines, oh God, yeah, liver. Uh, if you have hay fever or allergies, oh, they're ramping up for me right now. Yep, your liver needs help. If you have heavy metal toxicity, if you know that you have heavy metals, uh, in your system, if you have stealth infections like SIBO, Lyme, Epstein-Barr, um, that's the kissing disease, don't you know, uh, or chronic, uh, actually long COVID too. Do you know that your microbiome is off? Do you have dysbiosis? Is there something going on in your gut? Yeah. Do you have leaky gut? Is your metabolism slow? Do you have low energy, fatigue, brain fog? Did I go through them too quickly? Are you bored yet? Do you have do you feel stressed keenly or do you feel like your stamina is pretty low? Do you struggle with mood? Do you struggle with estrogen dominance? Oh, hi. It's nice you came. <laughs> you are a contender for the Good Food Network. We've got lots of things we're going to be covering in the network this month. So when you say yes to these, if you said yes to two or more, even one, I'll tell you, you'll get good benefits from being in the network. But if you said yes to two or more, you'll get even more benefits. And the more check marks you said yes, the more you will benefit from the Good Food Network. So that's what we're covering this month. Now I wanna take you through what it all looks like. So let's give you a tour of the network. I'm gonna take you through to what it looks like. It's gonna be a bit trippy. Let's not look at myself. Okay, there, that's better. So here we are in the network. So this is called the hub. I call it the hub and it is where all of my work is housed. So you need to, it, once you join the network, they ask you to activate your account. That just means create a password. So once you activate your account, you get into this home page. And here's what it looks like. So you have the Zoom call links here for all of the things we're going to be doing. 
So for example, today, the orientation call is right there at the top of your list. We've got weekly office hours uh, a couple of Tuesdays a month. On Thursday mornings, we have a food as medicine session. So when it's time to join any of our live sessions, all you need to do is to click on this little camera icon and you'll be taken directly to the Zoom room, wherever these things are happening. Now, once you get into here, where you want to start is by clicking on programs here on the left. And you look for the GF network, the Good Food Network. Just look for the keyword network. So here we have a few different modules. Now, the trick to know is that you need to move your cursor over this part. There's no way to collapse this guy. I'm so sorry. I wish there was. But here, once you get on top of this spot, you're able to scroll through. And these are all the different modules or the different parts of the network. Later on next week, there's going to be a third piece here in the written content. I'll go over that in a second. But right now, there's about three in each, except the top part. So as uh, it's very obvious, start here, kitten. So if you join us this month, this is where you start. In order to access it, you just click on the name, the title of the module. And here, there's a video that gives you a training on how to use the network, where to find the different moving parts, and how we let you know of different content. Now, clicking down here, the replay is going to be down here as well, so you can watch this orientation call again. And then the different parts. So scrolling down, we have three different sections to the network. We have live sessions. We'll go through what those look like in a second. We have pre-recorded sessions. So think of this as, you know, Disney Plus or Netflix or something like that, where click and it starts, which I like. And then further on down, we have the third part, which is written content. So this is updated every month, typically. And so we've got all these different moving parts. So it gives you a bit of a rundown on what each part of the network is and where to find it and what it entails. So that's where you start. Let's go back one. That's at the start here. Where I want to get you going first, though, is this schedule and checklist. So here, this is the schedule and the checklist. I know I, it's obvious. Luca, <laughs> I want to team you. <laughs> okay, so here is your schedule. Now, what I put on the schedule is just the live components. So anything that's on this schedule means we're meeting live. We're meeting in person. You have the capacity to join us. There is a replay available now for all of the sessions that happen in the network. So if you can't join us live, you can come back and watch afterwards. But I encourage you, like, especially these Thursday morning ones, they're at 7 a.m. And I did that because I wanted to make sure we had something where people can come and ask questions. You can join live if you're working nine to five, for example. So bring your breakfast, come in your jammies. You don't even need to turn your camera on if you don't want to. It's all good. So we have all of these sessions. Thursday mornings are those food as medicine sessions. We have one live class a month. This month, we're doing something called Going Green. And that's going to be for the liver, of course. And then we have two weekly Tuesday office hours, bi-weekly office hours, if you will. And those are for, well, anybody can come. It's open for one hour and you bring your questions. You can bring the stuff you're currently working on. If you are a former client of mine, we can go over and rejig your worksheet if you need to. We can winnow down what would be good pieces to work towards. Or, for example, if you're a former client and we got you started on the first probiotic, you might be ready for the second probiotic. This is where you plan to join me and this is where we'll chat through it. There is a replay available because Tuesdays at noon is not always obvious for everyone. Some people are working through that hour. If that's the case, you just send me the question. I will still address it in the office hours and I'll send you the recording. Okay. Now there's a printable version. So you download to your computer and you'll be able to print from your downloads folder. But I'll just show you what it looks like right now. I believe you should be able to see it. So this is what it looks like in bigger form. So here you can just print it up. And then what I like to do is I like to have a copy next to my desk so that I have this on the go this month. And I know what's happening when, so I can keep track of things. Now I also draw up a checklist for each month. So the checklist for each month is here to help you keep track or to prioritize what it is that you might wanna do in the network this month. So in the month of June, there's lots of different parts. <clears throat> 
If you keep scrolling down, there's a printable version here. So here I would just download to my computer so that I can print it. I'm gonna close this guy because we've got the visual here anyway. So make sure you print this guy out because this will help you prioritize and keep track of all the moving parts. So as I mentioned earlier, it is a smorgasbord. So you're not gonna eat everything off of the buffet, are you? Well, hooray, you should, but you don't have to. <laughs> Because nobody wants indigestion. <laughs> okay, all right, the analogies are done. I'm sorry. So the Good Food Network checklist is here for you to keep track. So these are all the moving parts. What I want you to do with this, print it up. And once you've got it printed up, take a look. Okay, what do I really need to do? Well, for sure, I'm going to check out this month's schedule and print. I actually already printed it. And that's what I'm writing on. So I've checked out the schedule and the checklist. Both are printed. Check mark, done. Scratch it out. Whatever you want to do that makes you feel good. Then we've got all these potential modules to look at and these different moving parts of the network. So go through, once I'm gonna show you in a minute, I'm gonna show you all of the different modules and how you can access all those. Then I want you to take a peek at this checklist you've printed up and prioritize. On the left-hand side, there's a space here. I want you to write down what's the first one you want to tackle and then second and third and fourth. Scratch out the ones you don't even want to do. For example, there is a cooking class. Yeah, you get a 90 minute cooking class in every month. So strawberry shortcakes is what we're making. There's a paleo version, PS. There's a grain free version. There's a low histamine option because strawberries are high histamine. We give you another option. Everyone's invited to our table. Even if you're vegan, there is a vegan option as well. I want everyone to know that you can come to my table. God's sakes. But if you're like, mm, I don't have 90 minutes to take a cooking class, Luca, that's what you scratch out. I mean, please go in and print the recipes first, because at least you'll have those on hand because there's recipes, a bunch of things. So, yeah. So, for example, if that's one that you didn't want to do. If those Thursday morning food as medicine classes are really important to you, make that number one. There's a replay that goes up about an hour after we wrap up every Thursday. Those replay links are available till the end of the month, and then it disappears. So the Good Food Network turns over every month and has new content. So the old stuff disappears. So you're on a timeline, but you're on a timeline because I'm lighting a fire under your butt. If you were, <laughs> because for me, if it was going to be there forever, I would never look at it. So I'm just part motivation. That's right. So lots of different moving parts. So I want you to prioritize which ones you're going to want to do. For those who've been in the network for a while now, there are new pieces, say new. Um, the eating with the seasons, it's a new season, P.S. We started today. Uh, so we've got the summer stuff up. We're going to be doing a brand new thing in the network this month. It's called the weekly challenge. So I'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, so all of these pieces. So make sure you print this up. Once you're done the module and you've printed it up, one of the ways I really like practice better for the hub, if you will, is that up here on the right, do you see this? It says mark completed. Once you're in the network and you're in the module, if you're like, how am I gonna know what I've looked at what I haven't? Click on mark completed, confirm. Oh, I finished it. And what feels so good is that when you come back, schedule and checklist, I've completed it. I don't need to go back and look at it. So it helps you know what you've looked at and what you have dug through so that you know what's left to do. So for me, I still have all about your network subscription, which is more the admin stuff and when you need to cancel, what to do, how to get in touch, how to have your questions answered. This is your, yeah, the business side of things, if you will. What else do I have to finish? I still have to finish the biweekly office hours, the food is medicine for June, the live class this month. So as you go through the content, you have the capacity to complete it so that you have this magical word here. Now know that once you've completed, you can still access it and you can still view your checklist. So it's not like you don't have access. So don't worry about it. It's not gonna disappear, but it just helps you keep track of what you've dug into and what you're done with, right? So our main topic this month is on the liver. So we're still in that top part of the network and it's talking about more the admin stuff and the sort of lay of the land kind of pieces, if you will. So here in this module, it's all just written content. And here we're talking about the liver. So all of those symptoms I just listed are all in here. 
do you see how many there are? Like for fart's sake. Yeah. Those are all ways to know that your liver needs help. So this is what we do here in the Good Food Network. As we are always addressing a high burden of stress, this is what we do. When the body tells us your liver and your detox and immune function are struggling, we need to support all of these different parts. And that is what we're doing through these sessions. And when you do that, now you get at what is driving those symptoms listed up top. So that's why we do the work I propose. So when you join the network, plan to give yourself a good one hour a week, and that will give you an adequate amount of time to dig through the content and the material on offer. If you don't know where to start, I usually have something at the bottom here. Oh yeah. Where I think you'll get the most help in the network this month is this Vitality Liver class. That is where you should start. I'll show you where to find that. Let's go back on the browser. So here we've gone through the top sort of admin stuff, if you will. Now let's go down to the live sessions. I'll show you where the Vitality Liver class is. That's one of the pre-recorded or instant access kind of on-demand pieces. But let's start with the live sessions. So uh, two Tuesdays a month. This month we're doing June 6th and June 20th. We are doing, uh, we are doing, this is, tells you a little bit what it is. These are the office hours. And then the replay link for any of the sessions are in the module that is that name. So our live sessions are biweekly office hours. The replay is in the module for this. So, and if nobody shows up, then you just still get the last one, the last replay. That's okay. All right, live sessions. That's your biweekly office hours. Let's continue to the second live session. We have food as medicine. So these are the Thursday morning sessions. There's a new one every week. They start at 7 a.m. They're very much built on the, uh, what did I used to call them? The Tuesday lives. So I used to do a 15, 20 minute Tuesday live session. Now they're a little bit more detailed. They're a lot more streamlined and there's three solutions in each. We end with three solutions for each of the topics. So it's at 7 a.m. on Thursday mornings. Today was an exception because it's the first of the month. But here are the topics we're covering this month. Choline and why this is a missing link for people, especially if you have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, if you have gallbladder issues, if you have brain fog, if you have high cholesterol. Choline is the missing link. We're going to talk about why. We're going to tell you where to find it in foods and how often to feature those foods. June 15th, we're talking about the liver and the microbiome connection and why the two are so much in love with each other. June 22nd, we're going to talk about the best, the three best foods for your liver. And then on June 29th, we will be talking about how to help those people who are slow detoxifiers. This is where we'll talk about methylation. This is where we will talk about reducing inflammation. This is where we will talk about what it takes to support the liver so we can rev up her detoxification processes. Because that is one of the main jobs she does. We want to make sure it's working well because it's about bagging the garbage and taking the garbage to the curb, baby. How is that going for you? Mm, do you need some help? Let's set you up. So the 25 to 30 minutes in length every Thursday at 7 a.m. Oh, look, the replays are at the bottom if you just keep scrolling. That's right. So here are the four replays for this month. There's nothing yet to click through because we haven't done them yet. But as the month goes along, then this is where you actually catch the replay. All right. So that was the food is medicine. I'm going to mark it complete because I actually went through and showed you today. Sometimes I find it hard to bounce around different places back to my program you can't make anything disappear on the good food network ps or on the hub all right our third live session we have a live class every month and this month it's called going green for your liver we're going to be talking about three different ways it's not just food to go green for your liver and why that might be so in the Good Food Network, you don't have to pay for this class. It's included in the price of the network. I am running this as a standalone class as well. So I'm inviting others to come and join us. But those in the network, this is the thing. It's part of the smorgasbord. It's part of the buffet. I'm not nickel and diming anybody in my network. I'm just going to give you what you need. How about that? You're welcome. Yeah. So, of course, the replay is going to be here after the 21st. 
And then there's going to be handouts and recipes at some point. And then after the class wraps up, there's always extras in here. So links out to articles and other content, maybe that would be helpful in helping put in place what it is I propose in the class. Okay. So that is the third piece of our live sessions. So let's scroll down now to the pre-recorded content. This is the on-demand stuff. You've got three things. You've got the Real Food Reset. This month is Digestive Detective. There's a Vitality class, Liver this month, of course. And we have our Scratch Cooking class. What each of these, I want you to think of these as on-demand content. Like you watch a video when you want. It's available all the time, 24 hours a day, and they'll disappear at the end of the month. All three of these are disappearing. So the Real Food Reset was a part, was something that I ran back in 2018 that I built for clients. And there were 10 different modules where we talked about the different ways to think about some of those foundational pieces to help you set up for health. So here we're focusing on digestion for the month of May and June. So it's going to stick around if you were in the network in May. This is continuation of it or the same thing. So if you've checked it out already, you can scratch it off your checklist. This month's module for May and June, let's talk about how to get down to the brass tacks. You are what you assimilate. Yeah, you can eat like a queen, but if you're not getting it into your system, that's where we want to make sure that things are working well. So we don our detective hats here with the digestive detective. And then there's extras out where we link out. There are handouts and recipes. The recipes this month are for a chicken butternut kale stew. There is a low histamine option as well. Lots of really great things. So that's the digestive detective. Back to our pre-recorded content. Our vitality class, this is where you'll find the most benefit. So here, this is a two hour, a bit longer than two hours, I think, for the liver. So first you print out your handouts. There is a recipe for coconut berry parfait. Coconut is amazing for the liver. Vitality liver class gets rolling. There's three parts. So you get three videos. First one's 50 minutes, so it's a bit longer. These were done before um, the, you. now I make like 12 minute videos tops, uh, but these were made longer because these were how I ran the classes at the Light Cellar. This is very much the same class that I've run at the Light Cellar before. But Vitality Liver, part one, part two, and part three. And then extras, there's always extras and links out if you wanna do a little bit more. And then some instructions on what to do. Hey, Fever. Guess who needs liver support? Me. Who am I kidding? I built a good food network for me. Okay, pre-recorded content. We just went through the liver class. So that two-hour class is where I think you'll get the most benefit. In the Vitality Liver class, we dive into what the liver does, how the liver is involved in different things in the body, how to know what if your liver is struggling, what is contributing and what is within your power to shift, and then a to-do list. There's usually five strategies we get you started with. Then we have a 90 minute cooking class, strawberry shortcake. This was a part of the um, junior high cooking elective that I ran with my daughter at the start of the pandemic. We were looking for something to do. She was very, she was actually quite sad as were so many teens at the time. And we were all, as you remember very clearly, it's not that long ago, we were all in our own corners in our own little silos. So we built a little community of silos in this Friday thing. And we did 10 Fridays in a row. I recorded them. This is the end result. And this is the final 10th of the 10 classes. So you have access to the strawberry shortcake whole class. So in here gives you a bit of the history on what this class was. So now we're on the 10th, which means next month we're going to start again at item number one. We'll just cycle through these as the year goes on. But for our 10th class, yeah, strawberry shortcakes. Oh, strawberries are high histamine or you can't tolerate them. We have other options. Don't worry. This is the whole class. And it was in my kitchen with my daughter. She's super cute. Check her out. Optional to thicken, one to two teaspoons of ground chia seed. And I talk too much, but it was a really fun time. We had about 70 people, I think, in the class. And we were just having a riot on Friday afternoons. And we had, my husband was there helping us out. And another junior high teacher at the school was there as well. Uh, and we were just having a good time. So in here, there's my daughter. 
And we have printouts and you have a grocery list and a recipe. So even if you're not going to do the class, can I recommend you print out the recipe? It's such a delicious thing to make. There is a rhubarb option in here. And there's lots, uh, there's biscuits. There is a paleo gluten-free, dairy-free and vegan option. For those who need to keep it that way, there's a whipped cream. And then there's also coconut whipped cream. There's an alternative strawberry compote. We've got a peach berry compote and how to do it if you want to keep it low histamine and how to start switching out other fruit. So these classes, these scratch cooking classes that we did are really to help you understand how to cook from scratch. I mean, it's in the title. So that is part of your pre-recorded content. So building those skills, that's the only baking class. A lot of kids were asking for a cookie and muffin class. And I said, well, Everybody knows how to make cookies and muffins. You don't, we don't need to learn new things, but biscuits, shortcakes, what? That is a skill in and of itself. So we took it a little bit further and added a paleo option as well, but there's this regular straight flour version if you want as well, because everyone can come to my table. You do not need special ingredients. Okay. Just for you to I'm on too much. Okay. That is the pre-recorded content. That's part two. Part three of the network is the written stuff. So we have recipes. So I do a recipe subscription service where people pay five bucks a month. If you're in the network, you get the recipes for free. So your recipes are here. This is what we're covering this month. Chimichurri. These are all for the liver, by the way. A simple fish with lemon. And there is a low histamine version in there as well for those who need that. We have a pad thai on offer. And that also we give a low histamine option for those who need it. And we also give a paleo version for those who need that. There's a recipe here to learn how to make your own sprouted flax crackers. You know, those rain coast crisps. Yeah. We're doing a homemade version and there's nary a grain to be seen and it's not hard. It just takes time and you don't need special equipment. Yeah. You could do it in the dehydrator if you have one, but if you don't, I tell you how to do it in the oven. This is real food for all of the humans. Do you get me yet? Rhubarb fool and whipped cream. That's what we finish things off. So you get your recipes and you get to print them up. So there's a low histamine option. LO means low oxalate for those who need low oxalates. So we invite everybody here at our table. Once you print up the recipes, you click on mark completed. Voila. And back to our program. Scroll down to the written content at the bottom. Here we have a brand new module this month, Eating with the Seasons. We are jumping into summer. So handouts and recipes for the summer. We have a handout and we have an extra recipe bundle. A lot of the way I propose moving forward for a lot of my clients is to start shifting as the seasons go, eating the foods that are available seasonally. As you do this, you are, <clears throat> there's a lot to say about where the sun is and the angle it hits our bodies with. The angle it hits our bodies with activates our microbiome. And your microbiome then shifts according to the light cues you're getting from being out in the world. So your body is primed to digest peaches at the end of July because the sun is telling your microbiome that get ready because the peaches are coming. If you eat a peach in January, the sun is not telling your microbiome to get ready to digest peaches so it doesn't sit as well in January as it does in the summertime. So one of the ways that I propose moving forward is to align ourselves with the rhythms of nature. Eating with the seasons is one. This is how you do it. So there's recipes in here. You have a whole recipe bundle. <clears throat> this is what you will get. There's eggplant rollatini, which is high histamine. Sorry, friends. You could do this with zucchini if you prefer. It works just as well. Brown butter scallops, mm, my favorite food. And then we've got a sun tea. This is to help you reduce inflammation, nourish your nerves. There's chewy fruit squares as well because it's summertime and fruits are in abundance at this time of year. So there's your recipe bundle. In the handout, this is how you start to focus on the different seasons. So let me expand. Here we've got a list of foods to focus on for the season. Then I list superb foods, teas, roots, and shoots. So you can switch up your tea pantry every month every season, herbs and spices to focus on. These are all really fantastic for the heart, which is the season of summer. So how to move through the season ideas here, heart friendly foods. What is the main organ for the season? The main energy for the season, 
and then five things to think about for this summer season. So these are all ways to help inspire you to get in the rhythm of the season. That is kind of a bonus piece in the Good Food Network. And this came from a series I used to run, like most of the pieces of the network. And so that is found in the written content, Eating with the Seasons. That's going to be up for three months. We're going to bring back fall in September. But now, if you're new to the network, you get in on the summer. If you've been in the network for a while, make sure you're printing the new recipes in the summer stuff because they're delish. That is how you move around the different modules. Now, I want to show you two little tips. There is a chat. There's a group chat that goes with the Good Food Network. So I... <clears throat> Post every time there's something new on, uh, on offer available, a replay link or what maybe you've missed for this past week. So I'm updating every day as soon as there's something new in the network. So here we are doing part two, loving up your liver. So here there's new content that awaits. So if you've been out for a week and you're the one checking in every Monday night at 7 p.m., first thing you do is you go to the chat and you say, okay, what have I missed this last week? So one last post for today, weekly challenge. So this is going to be one of the newest modules we're adding this month. It's going to start next Monday. We're going to do a module on the weekly challenge. I've been posting about it on social media, but in the network, there's going to be a lot more details and links out to articles and other things that may help you be successful with that. So it's just another offering. The buffet table just got longer. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I want a one-stop shop, guys. So lots of different things here. So scroll through and you'll be able to see what are all of those moving parts and what's been new this week. Last Thursday, we did Chasing Flavor for Liver Lovin'. Once I finish it, I usually drop a comment here that says the replay link, where it is and how to find it. So make sure that you use that chat function because it's going to give you updates on what maybe you've missed. In addition, this is where you can post any of your questions. Hey, Luca, I have a question. So somebody posted last night, I missed watching the fatty liver class. Is it still going to be around? So I got to answer her question. So this is where I promise if you have a question, somebody else does too. So make sure you use this chat. Now there's also the sessions. These are the Zoom sessions. <clears throat> so if we're going through here, these are all of the June sessions. These are all the, the times are going to be live in the network on Zoom. So you can click on these to access them when it comes time, or you want to go back to your homepage. This image on the top left, blink, brings you to the homepage. And this is where you have your upcoming sessions. Depending on the, how big your window is, I have a Mac, so it changes how wide my window is. Just look for the widget that's called upcoming sessions. And here you've got the name of what it is, the time, and then you click on the Zoom link to join us when it's time. And I think that's it for giving you the tour around the network. If you have any questions, if you're not sure if this is the thing for you, I'm going to drop a link below this in the replay. And on Facebook, I'll drop a link after we wrap up. I'm going to give you a link to a discovery call. So discovery call is a 15-minute chat. It doesn't cost you anything. We'll do the chat on Zoom. And I can answer any questions you've got to help you figure out if this is a piece for you. So it's a network, it's a subscription service. So you can stay in as long as you want. You get in the day until the next time it's this day next month. So for example, if somebody joins on June 1st and they only want to stay in June, they let me know before July 1st rolls around and they say, I just want this month. Can you take me out on July 1st? No problem. And I take you out. Those instructions are in your program in the Good Food Network, where it says all about your subscription, all that admin stuff. What else should I tell you about? Oh, we always have good times. Um, we veer off. You don't have to stick to liver in our biweekly office hours. Our biweekly office hours are really great for anyone who's trying, who's done some of the content already. For example, you know, this month we're doing a class on going green. So some of the things that I'll propose in there might feel like, oh, I, I don't know how to implement that. Can you clarify what you mean by adding seaweed, Luca? Yeah. So then we have a discussion about seaweed and then we help you figure out how you've probably already got seaweed going on in your life, how to increase the seaweed content. And maybe if seaweed might not be good for you specifically if you have something else going on. So that's where you ask 
any question you want. Doesn't have it can be about the content, but it could be about something totally different. One month I had someone, a uh, former client, say, <clears throat> uh, "But isn't eating liver terrible for you? Aren't you going to get vitamin A toxicity?" So I got to spend twenty minutes to ex- to explain why that's not the case. Food is always fine. P.S. When they talk about vitamin A toxicity with liver, they're talking about vitamin A supplements that do not even come from a food source. They're made in a lab and how they registered toxicity in people who were taking excessive amounts of synthetic vitamin A. You never get overdose when you have the food version. It's why I will always say food first. So those are the kinds of things that we can offer. The Good Food Network is also a really great spot for somebody who's ready to do good work, but is not in a financial position to work one-on-one with me. Working one-on-one with me takes you six visits, at least at minimum, and the cost for that is 600. And for some, that's out of their price range, which I get. So in that case, the Good Food Network is where you come and you treat those Tuesday office hours as your personal meetup with me. Not a lot of people come to them. So they are wide open. I just want you to know you're getting a really good deal if you join the Good Food Network right now because the dozen people we have in the network are not joining on Tuesdays very much because they've got things figured out and they're in a role and they're in a rhythm and they're feeling good with what it is that they're attempting and the pieces they're putting in place. But for you, I'll see you on those Tuesdays. So if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you. And like I said, book in for that discovery call and we'll figure out if this is the place for you. Thank you for joining me and hope to see you again sometime in the near future. Be well. Salut et à bientôt.